ride. This is 1350 Candy Apple Way in the sanctuary, beautiful Oviedo. It's a bit of a rainy morning, <clears throat> so you may see some drops on my camera. This is our property. property does not have a swimming pool, but the sanctuary has one of the nicest uh, swimming pool, community swimming pool in the area. Just showing you the lay of the land. Let's go take a look inside. Get a paved driveway. car garage not a whole lot of landscaping going on but you can add your own touch to it nice palm <clears throat> Double door entry, which is nice. Let's go take a look inside. We opened the tiles. They're pretty small. They're uh, one foot tiles, one foot by one foot. This area is quite nice. It's got a lot of recessed lighting. And we do move from the tiles to a laminate flooring. I do see an old water repair. You can see that repair right there on the ceiling. They never match. <laughs> you can always pick them out. But if I had to guess, I would say that we are directly below a bathroom upstairs. All right, let's go upstairs first. This first stair is just painted wood. It's kind of interesting because the rest is carpeted. It's not really a landing. The carpet's not in great shape. So this would have to be removed, replaced. It's got a nice big loft area. Start to our left here. We've got two rooms. This is that door that we saw from below outside. It actually works. Small balcony, but I guess you could get out there and 
have a cup of coffee. It's a good size room. Bathrooms of Jack and Jill. Has a regular standard closet. Actually, this is actually larger than standard. It's a semi walk in closet. A lot of room, though. And so you can see that bathroom is right above the repair we saw downstairs. Yep. Another full bathroom. It's nice and clean, just stated. That's a pig glass. Another good size room up the front. It's more of a standard size closet. But you get an idea of how how bad the carpets are. They're just falling apart. And here's our fourth bedroom upstairs. So it's four bedrooms upstairs, two full bathrooms. The master is downstairs. Lots of, this looks like just a half window. Yeah. So, brings in some light. All right, let's head back downstairs. Right at the bottom of the stairs, here's your kitchen. And as we turn the corner, there's your laundry room. It's a good size laundry room. Big closet, broom closet. Is our two-car garage, some attic storage. Pretty standard garage. And right at the end here we have a half bath. Another very large closet underneath the staircase. The top is Formica. All of the bathroom tops were Formica. It's a pantry.
42 inch wooden cabinets. The appliances are stainless steel. It is a small kitchen though. Some recess lighting, so it's quite bright. Lots of light, lots of windows around it. But it's not it's not a very large kitchen. So not a whole ton of counter space, prep area. That's about it right there. You've got a breakfast eating area. We're back to tiles here. Small hairline crack. Probably a settlement crack. And then here's our family room. The ceilings go up, as you can see, from the kitchen, which has a drop down and some repairs around all of these vents. And then we go to a vaulted ceiling in the family room. And here's your master. High vaulted ceilings, recess lighting. That bed is a, looks like a queen. Yeah, it's a queen size bed, but still a very big room, big windows. Lots of light. Separate water closet. <clears throat> it's a jacuzzi tub, but it's dated. And once again, I do see some repairs in the ceiling in here also. Big shower. It's linoleum top. Sorry, for Micah. Looks like they just painted the tops. Let's go take a look in the back. Let's give you a look back before we head out. This is your view from the family room. Got a small covered area. C 
ceiling fan. It's fenced in on two sides and pretty easy to go ahead and just fence the entire property off if you wanted to. All right, that's my video. Let me know what you think. We'll talk later.